Afghanistan is one of the most notable flashpoints in South Asia at the moment. Uh, and although it's been neglected in recent years because of the salience of other flashpoints in the Middle East, it nonetheless requires continual ongoing attention. One of the reasons for that is that when the Soviets withdrew from Afghanistan in 1989, that stimulated a narrative amongst radical groups that religion was a force multiplier that could defeat even a superpower. So if the Western enterprise in Afghanistan were now to fail, a similar narrative could easily be disseminated amongst potentially radical groups in a way that could stimulate difficulty in many other parts of the world, and that's something that most of us would want to avoid. Uh, the difficulties that Afghanistan faces are partly a product of the emergence of a neo-patrimonial political system after 2001, which saw patronage networks entangled and entwined with uh, uh, formal bureaucratic structures. But the deeper problem is the continuing insurgency which is fuelled by the Taliban's access to sanctuaries in Pakistan. Uh, and uh, in 2016 we've seen the uh, uh, advisor to the Pakistan Prime Minister on Foreign Affairs, Satar Jaziz, admit in a speech in Washington that the Taliban leadership was based in Pakistan. And subsequently we've seen the uh, Taliban leader, Mullah uh, uh, Mansour, killed by a US drone strike in Balochistan on the 21st of May. This uh, highlights the importance of dealing with the problem of sanctuaries. It's difficult to kill off an insurgency which has access to sanctuaries outside the country from which it's operating. Yet, even in Pakistan's own interest, there are good reasons why this insurgency should be uh, choked off at this point. Partly because the kinds of messages that the Afghan Taliban have disseminated have seeped into Pakistani society and caused real problems there through the emergence of the Pakistan Taliban. But also because Pakistan has an important relationship with China and that relationship has been compromised by uh, support for radicalism which China, Chinese scholars and policymakers fear could uh, seep into Xinjiang and cause major problems.